head coach Taylor Thames after a 2-1 victory over St. Bonaventure. Our coach Bonnie's went up early. What was your message to the team after they got the early one? I think, you know, besides the goal, I felt like we were still in, in complete control of the match in that first half. So it wasn't panic. It wasn't we needed to make adjustments. We just needed to continue to stick to the game plan, continue to attack them in transition, and really look to executing our chances when we were in their half. Mari Cotterell, free kick, gets you tied up, and then Nigel Buffley with the game winner. Talk about those two and, and how dynamic those two can be for you when they're on. I think um, Nigel and Amari might be two of the most dynamic players in our league, to be honest. And, and when they get going and when they feel the support of the group and they're running forward and, and able to combine, they they are two of the guys that you, you want to rely on right down the stretch of the season. Well, down the stretch, fended off a lot of uh, the same bottom venture attacks defensively in the second half. Clean sheet. Is that a good sign moving forward? Yeah, I think we really limit their chances. We, we dealt really well with their initial entry ball into the, their players up top, uh, especially the number nine. I think the second half, we minimized our mistakes at the back two, um, and that's something we have to continue to do. Two and one in league, heading into George Mason. Thoughts on that next match midweek? Yeah, George Mason will be tough. You know, we went away last year and, and we had to make sure it was a complete performance and, and it's no different. And now it's a little bit earlier in the season, which gives us a chance to, to get ahead on some points. And we want to do that as, as best we can.